In the figure shown, what's the value of v plus x plus y plus z plus w? Now, x, y, z, v, and w are angles, are the five angles of a pentagram. This is one way we can draw a pentagram. The lines have to be straight. Kind of like a star. Okay, let's erase that. So how do we find the calculate the five angles, uh, some of the five angles of a pentagram. Let's see what we can do. Okay, here's the same picture. I changed the color, but I don't think it should, should affect anything. I'm going to call these angles, these angles, A, let's erase that, A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, now we can conclude that angle A is really 180 minus angle V and angle Z. Note angle A, angle V, and angle Z are the three angles of this triangle. So Angle A has to be 180 minus V plus C. All right, let's move to angle B. Note angle B, angle X, and angle W are the three angles of this triangle. So angle B has to be 180 minus X plus W. And we are using the fact that three angles of a triangle um, add up to 180 degrees. Angle C angle V and angle Y add up to 180, so angle C has to be 180 minus V plus Y. Angle D, in a similar manner, is equal to 180 minus X plus C. Angle E, angle Y, angle W are the three angles of a triangle, so angle E has to be 180 minus W plus Y. So we have this nice relationship from uh, what we know. Let's erase all the underlines. Now, one thing we also know that the five angles of any polygon, uh, any pentagon, sorry, five angles of a pentagon, uh, really to be very formal, convex pentagon, will add up to 540. These five angles, angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, and angle E will add up to be 540. We know that from the properties of um, um, sums of angles of polygons. Now, one way to look at it is this. Take, start with any pentagon. It doesn't have to be regular. Let's say you forgot how to find the sum of the five angles of a pentagon, but you do know that sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. So let's see how many triangles can you cut your, cut your pentagon, pentagon into? One, two, and three. So this is 180. The three angles of this triangle add up to 180. The three angles of this triangle should add up to 180. The three angles of this triangle should add up to 180. So all the five angles of a pentagon should add up to 180 plus 180 plus 180, which is equal to 540. Now, we're going to use, I'm going to erase this, we're going to use that fact and what we have concluded here on the next slide to find our answer. Okay, this we know from our previous discussion. Now, we concluded that 180 minus V plus Z is A, 180 minus X plus W is B, so on and so forth. So A plus B plus C plus D plus E is 540 because they are the five angles of my pentagon. Now, basic algebra from here. If you add 180, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, you're going to get 900. And take a look over here. You have two V's, two Z's, two Y's, 
two x's, two w's, which will be equivalent to minus two times x plus y plus z plus w plus v. And the, the right hand side is still 540. To find the value of x plus y plus v plus w, all you need to do is move things around a little bit and see where you can go. So I moved 540 over here, moved 2 times x plus y plus z plus v plus w over here, and I get 900 minus 540, and it's equal to this. I'm almost there. This is what I'm looking for. Now, 900 minus 540 is 360, and the right-hand side is this. If I divide both sides by 2, I'll get my answer. Dividing both sides by 2, I get x plus y plus z plus v plus w is 180 degrees, and this is my final, final conclusion. All these five angles will add up to 180 degrees, and this is a very interesting result because it doesn't matter what the individual angles are. As long as these are the five angles of a pentagram, they will add up to 180 degrees. Doesn't matter how you draw your pentagram. And some of us find these things fascinating. So here's your answer.